device. Today's project is this, so let's get started. What we'll need is a hanger, a pliers, tape, cardboard cereal, sandpaper, plastic bottle. So let's go. So right now I'm just forming my hanger into the circular shape that I wanted. I think I've got it there. And at the end where it's open, I'll just be taping it. Uh, make sure you're using box tape. And now that I have my shape, I'm just squeezing it together. Make sure it's perfect. Girl's best friend. The center is perfect for snipping. Right there. So, after I got my shape, now I'm going to, here's my box of cereal. I cut it into some strips. Now I'm going to tape the strips together to go around the whole diameter of my ring. So far, very easy. Now you would need, if I'm using a total of three strips, you would need a total of six strips. Because remember, we're doing the inside of the ring and the outer side of the ring. Now, the best way to tape this cardboard to my wire hanger is to hold the hanger in the center of the cardboard. After a couple of tapes, it should be easy from there. Go ahead and cut off the excess. Now let's work on the inside. Now that both sides of the ring have been covered with my strips, now we're going to tape to secure. Make sure that there is no opening between both cardboards. This way, my structure will be stronger.
as you can see, you would need a lot of tape just to make the structure stronger. Just in case you decided to make um, your tubes bigger, your structure would be able to handle it. And by the way, you can do two rings if you want for this look. I decided to go with the one because it's going in the bathroom. I didn't want something too big and too over the top. Now, here's where your plastic bottles come in. I have a plastic bottle from a soft drink that I purchased. Cut the top, cut the bottom off, I'm left with the sheet. It is a little bit tricky working with plastic bottles. They have a tendency of rolling up once you cut it out. But as you can see, I'm stripping away the backing of the label. Then I'm gonna cut it into a strip and sand. Here's what it looks like. This is what it looks like after it's sand and that's before sanding. As you can see, this is clear after sanding it, giving it a light, a light sand. I got the look that I wanted. Now, you can just do this on one side like I've done here. I've sanded one side, it's opaque on one side, and as you can see, it still has the shine on one side, on the other side. Again, it's optional. You can sand both sides if you want. I went for just that one side. So now I'm gonna roll it up like a tube because that's what I intended to do. Now that I've got the size of the tube that I wanted, I'm gonna show you the tools that you would need to make sure that it sticks. And this here is my stencil maker. It has a very, very hot tool very very hot and as you can see just by puncturing little holes into it it will hold my tube in place which will cause it not to unravel and it's very cool to the touch and I have several of them here you can make them short and stick them together to make a long tube or you can just cut out long tube it all depends what kind of plastic you have and the size of the plastic either way so right now I'm taking leftover cereal box and wrapping it around my tube. And I'll be gluing it down. And as you can see, my tubes have holes on one side. And that's going to be the side that's not showing. The sides with the holes. So again, you can take two short tubes and connect them with the cereal box. Like I had to do. Or if you have enough plastic, you can take just one long tube which makes it quicker so now I'll be paper mache my ring to cover the tape now that my ring has been completely paper mache no tape is showing now it's time for embellishing so now I have some more cereal strips cereal box strips that I've cut even smaller and I've covered it in gold foil wrapping paper now you can find the gold foil wrapping paper on Amazon, at Walmart, in their gift department, their wedding section, almost anywhere. But mostly you can go online as well. Now for this project you can use gold, you can use silver. If you can't find the silver you can use aluminum foil, you can use rose gold foil, whatever is to your liking. So now I'm just hot gluing down my gold strip
I prefer the cereal box is more flexible with this kind of foil paper so after the foil now we'll be adding for the edges a little bling wrap gold as well And as you can see for this project, I didn't have to go out and get anything. The cereal box I already had, the cardboard, the glue sticks, the glue gum, the scissors, and the sandpaper. The information for the sandpaper will be in the description box down below. The whole idea of this is to use what you have around the house already or things you would have never thought of to create something beautiful. And the best part of it, it's original. Now, after I blinged out my ring, now we're going to add a little gold to our tubes. So here I am wrapping some more of the gold foil around the cardboard section of my tube. Now we're going to use just school glue and just a little bit of that so it doesn't clunk up under my foil because again the foil is very thin cutting off the excess. Uh, I didn't wrap it all the way around because the cardboard side of my tube, I want it to be glued down against the cardboard directly. And here we go. I'm just measuring now two finger space between my tubes and we are done. quick and easy project. I hope you enjoyed this.